Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kom ya sha'ala, kohalonim la Yahweh ba Hashem Yahushai ba Hashem. Rekach hadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh ba Hashem Yahushai to the best of their ability. This is Yahshanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, yeah, this is just one of those lessons to just show who Esau is, the revealing of the man of sin, the son of perdition, and um, the, the, the really the wicked. Because the scripture talks about how the wicked will be in control of the earth. And this, this particular type of story right here just lets you know just how much power Esau really has, man. And when we say Esau, we mean the so-called white man. That's a biblical name for the so-called white race. They're not white. They don't look like a damn glass of milk. You know, they ain't looking like clouds or like no snow or nothing. They're actually pinkish to reddish in color. Looking more like brake lights on a damn car. A lot of them. But, you know, that's that's a social construct that they came up with. So there's no such thing as so-called white people. You know, they're, they're pinkish to reddish in color. And a part of the prophecies is that they will be revealed in the end days. When I seen this story and I'm just like, God damn, bro. <laughs> These motherfuckers boiling out of control, bro. You know, we, we you know, we, we know about our Rothschilds and... You know, all these, you know, elite ones of them that's hiding in the backdrops, that's running shit. But you you actually have, um, you know, Edomites, you know, like your Jeff Bezos, your, you know, your Elon Musk. You know, they try to make them seem like they're the most, you know, um, wealthiest men in the world. And they're really not. You know, you got other ones in the backdrop that make them look like welfare cases. But just the regular Edomites, man, like, like this shit right here, like, who heard of some shit like this? Imagine a so-called black per person, Hispanic or Native American person, owning a goddamn volcano. <laughs> it says the owners of a New Zealand volcano that erupted in 2019, killing 22 people, appealed their conviction. Who, who you know? You, you, you think, you think, you think the so-called white man is going to allow you Negroes to get you a volcano? You just able to just buy you a goddamn island, volcano. Set it up for shop, you know, got it all tourists out, you know what I'm saying? There's no telling what they might have on that bitch. I'm not even sure. But I, I'm just like, well, damn, you know, I didn't know that you can own volcanoes, you know, as an individual person. You know what I'm saying? Or I think they got it's three men, three partners or whatever. But let's just get into a little bit of it. Just to just, this shit is crazy, bro. You can't make it up. It says the owners of an island volcano in New Zealand that erupted in 2019, killing 22 people, launched an appeal on Tuesday against their criminal conviction for violating safety laws, arguing that tour operators rather than their company were responsible for the safety of visitors to Wakari, Waka, Wakari, if I'm pronouncing that right, also known as White Island. Well, that, hey, that's, that, that, that says it all too. That says it all too, damn White Island, right? It says, uh, Wakaari Management, a company owned by brothers Andrew, Peter, and James Buttle, was found guilty last October of charges brought by New, Le by New Zealand's workplace safety regulators of failing to protect visitors to the island. It was ordered to pay millions of dollars in fines and restitutions to victims of the volcanic, volcanic eruption who were tourists from a cruise ship and their local guides. But this Esau, man. Hey, this man, man, he, he has he has tackled the world. He this motherfucker all in space. He's all in the oceans, man. You know this 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 man. He does it all, and he's he's in control of this shit. So let me get that one since I quoted it. And here's the guys right here. Cause I wanted to look them up. You know, generally they don't even have no pictures of these these people, man. Let's go to Job nine and twenty four. Can't make it up, man. That's a lot, yeah. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not wearing who is he? See, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Because I ain't never heard of no shit like this. I've never heard of nobody owning no damn volcanoes. You know, I mean, if there are volcanoes within a region... Then the so-called white man, he's over it. You know, of course, their governments and shit like that. But individuals, individual people, you know, just like it's a damn company or you just you just bought a rental property. 
Motherfuckers own a goddamn volcano, bro. And then once they, all these people get killed, no accountability. Of course they're going to push the blame. <laughs> of course they don't want to be, uh, they done already spent them millions. I, it, this shit is retarded, bro. But the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who you think is able to put together crews? Like, you might say, well, all right, well, if Michael Jordan or Oprah or somebody like that were to put their money together, they can do something like that. Eh, they may have the money to do it. But them being so-called black people, no, that, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't work out well. They, they're, not, they're not about to allow you niggas to go to space. You're not about to get no goddamn rockets. You're not about to go to have your own damn um, international space center. You know, you're not about to do any of that shit. You're not about to be able to, uh, you, Jake, it would, it would be a problem with you trying to make a gun and this motherfucker is making nuclear weapons. They're not about to let you house no gunpowder. <laughs> no, you, cl you crazy, man. Well, let's, let's, <laughs> let's get some more. I just seen this and I was amazed. God, ah, cause I ain't never heard of nothing like this. Okay. But it says the company in March filed an appeal on Tuesday. Lawyer Rachel Reed told the high court of Auckland that the trial judge had erred when he ruled the volcano's owners were the managers or controllers of the workplace under the law and were therefore responsible for the mitigating health and safety risks to anyone present. The company only granted access to the volcano, Reed said, and, it, and expected the tour operators to manage the safety of tours there. Just like any landowner, it had, <laughs> oh my, it had the ability and did grant the right of access to the land through licenses. That is what it did, she told the court, referencing the company. It did not run the tours. It did not direct or supervise the tours. Yeah, you may not have done that, but you was using it for that purpose. You was using it for money. Esau, man. It says White Island, the tip of an undersea volcan volcano, also known by its Maori, Ma Maori name, Wakaari and you know they stole this shit just like they stole everything else man was a pop was a popular tourist destination before the eruption there were 47 tours and tour guides mostly from the US and Australia and that's Esau as well too you already know who was there you already know who was there you maybe you had a let's just say you had a, a, a I, I can't say that there wasn't no so called black people there but I'm willing to bet you it wasn't I would highly doubt that there is a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American that was over there touring a goddamn volcano. That's Esau. That's why the scripture says that um, Jacob was a plain man. What's that? Uh, Genesis. Can't make it up, man. Hey, they, they, this man is being revealed more and more every day. I think that's... Um, or oh, 25. I think Genesis 25. Uh, let's see. Around 20. Let's see here. Salakia. Yep, right here, verse 27. Put a highlight on that. It says, And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter. See? He's the one that's out in the woods all damn day long. He can't wait. Matter of fact, I think it's deer season right now. They motherfuckers got a hunting season every damn month. It's something they can hunt. And if not, they, if they got enough money, they'll go on a tour through Africa and kill lions, kill elephants, kill motherfucking hippopotamus, and whatever the hell else they can kill for sport. Had that motherfucker skint down and come back with a goddamn um, lion rug in front of his, his fucking fireplace, man. It says, and the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man. See, dwelling in tents. So he, you know, that that's just, it, what it's saying is, Esau is that, that adventurous. He's the one that's in the oceans and shit, you know, snorkeling with damn, um, um, Sharks and shit, you know, he, he's the one that's climbing these high ass mountains, jumping out of planes, bungee jumping and all kinds of crazy shit, you know, X Games, doing all those weird ass flips on a motorcycle or some shit, Evil Knievel, you know, them people. That's what he's known for. He He's that, you know, you know, the, the motherfucker that'll, you know, uh, uh, climb a building and, 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 and parachute off of that bitch, you know. <laughs> but 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 this is him you can't say that this is not him that's the reason why we got to do these lessons because let's go to the new testament second thessalonians 2 and 3 because this right here it, it's an indicator that we're in the last days because this man will be revealed in the last days second thessalonians 2 and 3 let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come what day 
the day of the Lord. Yahawashai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, but his name is Yahawashai, which means he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. There's no letter J as in Hebrew. There was no letter J when the Lord walked the earth. There was no English. It was calling him by his Hebrew name, Yahawashai, which means he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. And the father's name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one in the Paleo-Hebrew. There was a, The letter J was invented in 1524, 500 years ago. When the Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago, there was no letter J sound. Right? Okay, so let's let's start that back from the top. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. And the falling away part of this prophecy already happened with us. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans falling away from their heritage, being conquered by these very people. Because not only do they own the earth, own the land, they own us right now. They got us in captivity. That's the reason why, you know, if you wanted to do something like what these men done, man, you man, you had to, boy, you know all the shit you had to go through. Your ass would be in a damn wheelchair older than a motherfucker by the time that shit be done went through. And you can be the start of the process at 20. You can be a damn trillionaire. Unless you, you are using them. Say, you, if you were to do something like that, you would have to be a... A, a, a back a back source so to speak or you know they, they they can never see who's actually really trying to buy it you would have to use so-called white people to go and do that for you but if they ever see your face shit get out of here verse 4 it says who opposed it and exalted himself above all that is called god or that is worship so that he is god sitteth in the temple of god showing himself that he is god that's why this motherfucker all out in space with them satellites and stuff. Looking down on everybody. Cameras all over the place. Looking at everybody. Checking on everybody. Microphones on, on everything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, hacking into your damn phone camera and your, and your phone microphone. Your, you know, things like that. Hacking into your damn car. He wants to be all seeing, all knowing. And, and, and really what, is, what it's leading up to is he, he wants to um, put a damn microchip into everybody. So he can really control your ass, turn you on and off. But anyway, I just never heard of nothing like this, man. So when I seen it, but let's get these, let's get the pictures of these guys. Here they go right here. Typical. You know these Edomites. Who knows though? I mean, and it's not a, it's not a, 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 a skin color thing. But this is Edomite activity, man. I, I just got to put it that way. It's, re it's really Edomite activity. I, I had no idea that you could just buy a damn volcano, bro. And only a, only an Edomite would think of some shit like that. Okay, it says, um, on the island, when superheated steam blew, killing some people instantly, leaving others with uh, agonizing burns. <laughs> hey, let, I got to get another one. Hey, that's that spirit of vengeance right there. You got your ass out. What you what, what you doing out there? Lord, like, hey, get your ass off this island. Out here trying to entertain yourselves. You know, tempting me. As if I won't char your ass. Ecclesiasticus um, 39 and 28. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So the Lord created spirits, man, for vengeance. Fire. Well, you, you, hey, that's some of the hottest fire you're ever going to come across. Is that volcanic, um, that volcanic, um, 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 liquid. That, that's a different type of, uh, of fire right there, man. A liquid fire. That's how cold the Lord is. The Lord got a liquid fire out here. It says fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. So the Lord had a, 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 uh, uh, get down on the asses, man. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall they shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is, and when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. These spirits want like well, Lord, they just having a good time. They just want to see the volcano. Look, they just want to see how beautiful the island is. Look at you know, out there with waves and shit splashing. You know, this we already know these is Edomites. I'm pretty certain it, it could have been some other name. could have been a damn Chinese person or something on there, too. You know, damn Moabite. They into little shit like that here and there, too. 
But not like how these damn um these Edomites are. Okay, but it says the disaster drew attention to the national hazard hazards around which much of New Zealand's adventure tourism industry operates and prompted tighter laws for tour companies after survivors of the eruption said they had not been told the active volcano was dangerous before the guided walk to the crater. Who need to tell you about a goddamn volcano? Fuck if it's ever been active in a hundred years. Well, it, it's a possibility that it can. What you doing there? That's why that scripture also, um, there's another one in Ecclesiasticus. You know, people in the comment board probably clowning the shit out of their asses. Ecclesiasticus 12 and 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beast? So who's going to pity you for acting for being stupid as hell? For doing stupid, stupid shit. If you're dealing with a poisonous snake and he, he bites your ass, what, what, you want some pity? If you jump your ass over into a lion cage at a zoo you, you, and, they, and they maw your ass up, but you want some pity? No, people are going to be clowning you. Straight up. Right? Talking about you didn't know. After It says, after a three-month trial last year, a, a judge found the company guilty of health and safety fa um, fa failings in the period before the eruption. In his ruling, Judge Evangelos Thomas said Wakaari management had failed to undertake a risk assessment despite being aware of an eruption three years earlier. There you go. None of y'all knew about that. Do they just, you know, the Lord just, boo, 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 he just knocking on everybody's door. Like, uh, you know, I'm going to set this volcano off tomorrow, so don't go. No, nah, motherfucker, just don't go. Crazy, bro. It says, um, Judge Thomas said the company should have sought expert advice about the dangers and either stopped the tours entirely or put controls in place. He dismissed a second charge against the company. Charges were brought by New Zealand's workplace safety regulators against 13 organizations and people, including the owner's company. Some pleaded guilty, including three companies that operated helicopter tours, one that operated boat tours, a scenic flight operator, and the New Zealand scientific agency, CN CNS Science. Charges against others were dropped. So here you go. Who do you think own those helicopters? Where well, you can go in and take you a tour in a damn helicopter. Goddamn a uh, uh, hot lava rock blow out of that bitch and knock that shit out the sky. Who you think own that? Esau. And that operated boat tours. Who you think own those boats? Because this is shit that EC, Esau is an opportunist, man. He's going to take advantage of anything that he feel like he can make a couple of dollars off of. Right? It says a scenic flight operator. Who you think Who you think that is? It says, in the three-day appeal this week, Justice Simon Moore is expected to hear further submissions from lawyers from Wakaari management before arguments from the regulator. Moore told the, the court that any error found by the trial judge must rise to the level of a miscarriage of justice for the appeal to be successful. And there you have it. Well, it's only three comments. Let's see what they've got to say. I just said that. I ain't even read the damn comments. This motherfucker said the same thing that's got me doing this lesson. This person says, how does one go about owning a volcano? I was thinking the same thing. I never heard of no shit like that before. I didn't I, I know that was possible. That's like owning the ocean, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm going to buy this ocean. You know, I'm gonna, you know, like, I mean, it's a part of, um, you know, the landscape, man. But, hey, but that's Esau. Don't Esau run the skies? You know, don't he tell people who can fly, who can fly where, and what time they can fly? Doesn't he own the oceans? You can't just jump into no boat, you know what I'm saying, and, and get out there and get to going somewhere, man, without this man's permission and permit. They catch your ass, they're just going to reel you in, take your damn boat, take your ass to jail, sort things out. They're going to try and see if you smuggling some dope or something. You know? But he, this is his kingdom. He's in control. The Lord has really set this man up. So just think. And see, when we do these lessons and we go out on the highways and byways and tell our people that you're a special people to the Lord and that all this stuff was really created for you, Jake don't want nothing to do with it. Well, here you go. You got this wicked motherfucker all over the planet, man. Just take, He's got control of every goddamn thing. This man giving you GMO goddamn grapes, bro. GMO apples and oranges and shit. 
That's how much control this man has of the planet, man. You can't say that he's not the wicked, man. As a matter of fact, this one comes to mind. <laughs> hey, that, hey, that was the perfect. I, I, I was thinking the same thing, though. They said, how does one go about owning a volcano? Mm. Somebody said, where can I buy a volcano? Said nobody ever. Hey. Hey, I'm telling you, man. That's Esau, though. But let me get one more. Because now that brings his second edge of 6 and 50. Uh, let's start at first 54. Second edge of 6 and 54 in the Apocryphal. 1611 King James Bible. It says, and after these, Adam. Oh, shit. What the hell just happened? Slakia. Slakia. Plan me, man. Goddamn. Just trying to get a nigga to buy something. Second edge of 6 and 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. So the Lord chose a people out of everybody that he created. He chose a nation of people, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It says, All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. He made the world for our sakes, but we don't have no stake in it. He's going to go on to say that. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So these people are like spit flying out your mouth while you're talking. Or like a, a little drop of water fall out of your cup or some shit. They are nothing to the Lord. Right? But they over every damn thing. It says, And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, the Lord, the, Lord, <laughs> the scriptures call them heathen, man. That's exactly what they are. These heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. And the Lord, you know, the Lord um, gave us into their hands, you know, but they're going to pay for what they've done. Because these wicked bastards, bro, they, they, they took that slavery to a whole nother level. And the Lord said they're going to get double. But it says... If the world, it says, if the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? So this was a, a question that um, Edris was asking the Lord. Right. But now if, up here at the top right here, verse nine. It says, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So this world that we're in now, this age, that's what it's going into. An age or a society. When this age or society, which is the so-called white man's rule or reign ends, then our reign is going to start. And it's going to be an everlasting reign. We're never going to be taken out of power. But they're about to be taken out of power. But I, I had to ask the same question, man. How, how in the fuck do you get a... Who in the fuck owns a volcano, bro? How can you buy a damn volcano? That's like saying, yeah, well, I'm going to buy the sun. I'm going to buy the moon. You know, you see them three, four stars? Though? I want them right there. Them mines right there. But like I said again, hey, this man, he's all out here in space. You know, he runs all the earth. And, and, and it's different, you know, tribes of them. You know, they, they all got their land masses and their continents and shit like that. But overall, the so-called white man, he runs the entire globe. Now, you got the so-called Chinese. They got their little spot. They're not running shit like that, though. They got a little spot. They're coming up, too. But they ain't running nothing like how this so-called white man is. This motherfucker all over the planet. Especially these American ones. These motherfuckers got like a thousand uh, uh, fucking bases all over the uh, all over the world. Ready to strike your ass at any time with a missile. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. You know, our turn is coming, though, man. We got next. But I was just looking at this. And it, it's just more and more proof that these people are running the earth. Look at these dudes, man. I wonder how much they got the motherfucker for. It's lucky, huh? I'm like, damn, let me see. Maybe they got a little information as to how they got it. Because I ain't never heard of nothing like that before. And they had it since... Or let me see how long... That, did they even actually have the shit? Okay, so they got some... Uh, It was attempts made in the mid-1880s. Again, from 1898 to 1901, then 1913 to 1914, to mine sulfur. 
And you know Esau, yeah, they they in control of all them all, all them um resources because you know yeah that that volcano um you know that that's a sulfur factory right there. You know it is it is big money in um at sulfur. You know a lot of shit that um you know these Edomites put chemicals and shit together and know how to make shit. Let me see who who is Peter Buttle because he might be the main guy. Andrew James and Peter Buttle they not giving a lot of info. I just want to know how much you got that bitch for. How much you buy? How much do you have to have to own a damn volcano? Hey, these people balling out of control. You Jake, man, y'all going to spend y'all you know all your money on a damn Rolls Royce? Stupid ass Ferrari or something or whatever kind of supercar or be going and spend all kinds of money on a damn mansion. These motherfuckers done bought an island with a volcano. Main attraction, the volcano. Dang, they ain't got nothing on no price though. I ain't, I'm not seeing anything. But you can clearly see it. It's just like it, it, that's exactly what it is. We okay, it's an island. It's a it's, it's a mass that's sitting in the ocean. We can see that, but... They actually bought this shit, bro. You think that any any rational government would have sense enough to not even sell nothing like that to nobody? Yeah, they don't have no price tags or nothing on it. But the point that I wanted to make was, you know, these people are the wicked that the Bible speaks of, man. You can't get around it. This is um, um Esau, Edom. You know what I'm saying, and 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 they're being revealed in these last days, man. So that that means that we're we're pretty close to getting out of here, man. We're pretty close to getting out of here, man. Yeah, you know, I can't see it being another decade, <laughs> another 20 years, 25, 30, 40, 50 years of this man's reigning and ruling no more, man. Cause it's got to be closer than that, man. You know, five years. I can't see it, man, right now. So I'm gonna end out there. I pray that the lesson was edifying. With that, Kwame Yashala and the Bubble Boy.